I have been living with this Parkinson's disease for 11 years and I was pursuing other avenues to see if I can find a way to do a surgery or to cut the medicine that it is not working anymore. We used to travel all the time and do things as a family. Uh, my husband and I would go out to comedy clubs and, and go out with friends and different things. And then as this disease progressed, he's just become less and less interested. Since I've been diagnosed, medication side effect of the medication give me a lot of uh, depression. I am the cook at home and I, I do it because I don't have to do it. I do it because I like to do it and I want to see my family, you know, eating what I, what I cook for them. Lately, I, I, I cannot really do much in the kitchen because my movement disorder, my body moves a lot. If I want to saute something, I could not turn the, the, the pan over. So met with Dr. Rogers okay. and it, he was just such a breath of fresh air and looking at everything from a fresh approach and asked uh, Bashir, you know, walk and do all these different things and immediately noted that he was over medicated. He brought up the deep brain stimulation surgery and so they started to pursue that avenue and he's a candidate and then met with Dr. Shanai, the surgeon who would be performing that and then he just put us at such ease. He spoke in terms that we could understand. The procedure normally takes four to six hours and traditionally we have the patient awake so we can test them uh, during implantation of the electrodes. Mr. Flay, however, could not tolerate such a procedure. I'm claustrophobic, so they said well, we're going to do a mock surgery to see if you can handle a surgery awake. So the Dr. Shanai, he promised that he will do it asleep when they get the new equipment in, in Nova Hospital. Dr. Shanai went that extra mile and he was able to work it out. This procedure merges two incredible human endeavors, MRI and deep brain stimulation. We're very excited that we now have this opportunity with MRI-based DBS that we can now provide this wonderful technology to so many patients that need it that prior to now would not have been a good candidate to get DBS because of the inability to tolerate or be a part of an awake procedure. I gave them all the okay to do whatever I want to do with my brain. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? You're good. Good. Oh my gosh. gosh. Indeed. You're straight. Computerized. <laughs> this is huge. I have been fantastic. Since I did the, op the surgery, I have been a totally different person. I move better, I, I, I write better, I think better. Uh, I take less medication, you know. Uh, my depression is gone. I, I don't, I'm not depressed anymore like I used to. You know, still work to be done and, and uh, you know, twist, tweeting the, the control and all that, but so far I'm doing beautifully. It's just night and day. And I have my husband back, my son has his father back, and he's now present in the family, whereas before he was just sort of there, but not really interested in being there. I am confident of doing anything I want. I'm, I'm so happy that I did the surgery and right now I feel like 100% different person, totally different person. And now we have him back with a smile and it's great so it just opens up the opportunities and we're sort of starting life again. <laughs>